Hey guys, when you pop on, say hello. Let's chat. Bring your questions. If you're watching the replay, let me know. If you have any questions, go ahead and post them. And I will answer. Guys, oh, I got it set up. Coming in a little bit later today. Uh, just had a bunch of stuff going on, uh, so I had to come on later. Uh, this is Chalk Talk, my weekday chat where we discuss undiagnosed illness. We look at alternative answers to to find out why you have an undiagnosed illness and help you heal. Um, this is Chalk Talk. It's my weekday chat where we discuss all of that. Um, Last night in my webinar, I remember uh, I was I said 99% um, of your illnesses you can look at the mental causes for it and find the answers. And then I was like, I caught myself and I was like, well, how does that fit with this stuff I find in the energy? And this is what came to me. So when you have the mental causes, the stress, the anxiety, you're being angry at things, you can look at the different illnesses and find out like why you're having them. They're connected. Like say you're having a shoulder pain. There's a connection there. And um, anyway, so what happens is you have those mental causes, it weakens your energy, the negativity is able to get in and it's causing that illness. So that's what I figured out because I caught myself, I was like, well, I'm discussing both, but it's true with that. So I put the, the two together and I wanted to explain it to you all today. So when you have the mental illness, not the mental illness, the mental causes, like I said, the angry, the frustration, the you have a problem with somebody, people causing you the anxiety, people sending you the information. Say you had trouble with a parent when you were younger. It could cause you issues in different parts of your body. And um, there's books that will explain it to you. So anyway, that is where the connection comes. You have those, it weakens your energy, the negativity comes in, and it's associated, the mental cause is associated with parts of your body. And that's how you can tell what is causing you the illness. So that's why the energy healing or working with me is so good because um, I first of all go in and clear out what's in your energy and then we look at the mental causes from it and you have you get mantras and you like work on them and that's why it's so important to do the work and why you have such a good chance of healing if you do that. Um, if you do the work that I give you. So that's what I have today. It's Friday. You guys go give somebody a compliment. Tell them something nice. Be kind to somebody. Um, then I want you to go do something that you love, something that brings you joy. Then I want you to go do something that's a self-care, whether it's meditation, a hot bath, something that is self-care for you. And then write five things you're grateful for. Those things alone are gonna start you on your healing journey. You're gonna start feeling better if you just do those things for yourself. Um, so that's all I have today. Any questions, let me know. If this can help somebody that you know, please show it to them. You guys have a great week weekend and I will see you on Monday. Oh, spiritual messages coming here in a little bit. I'll post them. Have a great day. Love you all, bye.